G'day, welcome to another episode of 4x4 Adventure WA. In this episode, we explored the muddiest track in Albany, Redmond State Forest. Redmond State Forest track is covered with mud 24-7 the whole year. Especially in winter time, the significant amount of rainfall in Albany has made this track absolute mess. I went out with a few boys and young families from Albany Four Wheel Drive Club. As soon as we hit the tracks, we couldn't wait to deflate our tires and hit the mud tracks. We came to this first section of the mud hole. It's a very deep mud hole. Some sort of a high point in here, but it's still pretty soft. I don't think any of us actually tried that. However, there was a guy right before us, uh, had 35s and got stuck very, very badly on sideways. Now, this is going to be funny because this old high lux uh, gets stuck in every, or well, let's say 90% of the obstacles, uh, in every possible lines. Yes, we unfortunately apologize, we failed to demonstrate the correct uh, snatch recovery. Uh, yes, the guy in red should have stayed away from the snatch strap, but at the very least, we are not snatching off a tow ball. We then kept pressing on to the next mud hole, and this mud hole is the one that you can't really prevent. Good that we have got a patrol to push through some mud for us, so we went through it smoothly. Travis is going to make a mess out of it. <laughs> oh, he's already made a mess. Oh, better. Well, where did we score? I think you can see where he's at the bottom. Oh, wow, yeah. That's right. Oh, got a point. One good thing about the independent front end is it's got a little bit more clean from that turn on. There's a fair bit of mud. 
Well, it was lucky I wasn't there. Seriously. You know what? I reckon he probably did that deliberately. Ben, if you're watching, I know you did. As we kept driving, we come across this major obstacle in Redmond. This mud hole has a very soft Surely bottom, you know that, which can sink you down about a foot if you step on it. Did you see me? <laughs> almost, almost fell into it. Most of us decided to go for the chicken track, but it turns out the chicken track is not that chicken. Hey, right. I, however, decided to face the challenge. Obviously, I'm not going through the mud hole, the deepest part of it, but I chose to sand through the shallowest part of the mud hole. It turns out at the end it was very sloppy and dangerous. Hey, this is Derek. If anyone is watching this, I'm very glad because you're watching my contents. But, uh, my dear, if you don't see me out, you know that I, I'm in Redmond and uh, I'm, I'm drowned with mud, with my vehicle as well. Alright? And of course, the old harness got stuck. You're kidding. That's it for the day. It was such a good day today. Uh, didn't, didn't actually have to use a winch. So uh, I was a little bit disappointed. I thought I, I might have to winch myself out. And I thought uh, it's a good time to do a bit of winch maintenance as well. But uh, it was such a good day today. Lots of mud holes and we avoided the, the worst ones. Um, and we did pretty okay for the, uh, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the ones that is suitable for our set standards. Um, and well, thanks, Glenn, uh, thanks, Lynn and Travis uh, to, to come around, to come along with us. Uh, that was absolutely awesome. That was so much fun. Oh my, lots of cleaning to do, lots of clean up. I've never seen, I've never seen my car with so much mud before. But good that it didn't get stuck. Now, virginity is broken. Fantastic! If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. You can also find us on 
Facebook and Instagram at 4x4AdventureWA. I'll see you there. If you have any suggestion to the video, please comment down below.